Hi, I'm Kevin Slattery. I teach physics at Temple City High School and I have a student, Eric, that trying to investigate how you might spy on somebody using a laser bouncing off a of glass. Hey everyone, today we have a cutting edge physics technique demonstration. It will illustrate the Doppler effect. It states that the wavelength of light coming from the source will decrease or increase accordingly. If it is moving farther away, the wavelength will get longer. And if it is moving closer, the wavelength will get shorter. Our setup involves a laser, a speaker, a mirror attached to the speaker, and a photodiode connected to an amplifier. The light from the laser will bounce off of the mirror into the photodiode. The speaker that is emitting the sound is connected to an MP3 player that plays music and when the music is played, the mirror vibrates as the speaker moves. And that creates an amplitude modulation that can be reflected and picked up by the photodiode, which is connected to the amplifier. The wavelength amplitude modulation is converted to an electrical signal at the amplifier and the sound that is played by the source speaker will be replicated by the amplifier. If we block the laser, you can no longer hear the music and this proves that not only does the amplifier copy what the speaker is playing, it can very accurately magnify that voice. Experiments like these are awesome because you can go from something in the news that says that they suspected somebody like Bin Laden was in a house because they uh, could try to detect from the windows whether there was an occupant they can't see inside to you know, a lab where you could try to figure out how that works and, and just physics is lending itself to hands-on activities that aren't necessarily all math-based and they draw kids in, so thanks.